Hey, what up, y'all? So Normie's coming at you a little bit of office. How's you doing? Three, one, seven. Oh yeah. shit! Woo! Oh, 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 oh. Marquette to participate. All right, so season three, episode <laughs> seventeen, business school. Three one seven is the area code in which we live in. Allegedly, and St. Patrick's Day, <laughs> and St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> My name is Sirachicha. I'm not your pa. Hey, I'm Pat. <clears throat> Marquette. This is uh, Mickey. I'm Spidey. Michaelias. Hola, me llamo es Cristoba Johnson. Spanish. Cristoba Tapia da Ver. Hey guys, uh, here's the thing about business school. Ryan went there and Michael is kind of jealous of it. If you go to business school, maybe the Kelly Kapoor business school. That's an insider Indiana joke right there. <laughs> yeah, we have the Kelly school yeah, at IU. It's, uh, it's, it's a really Pat, good one. Pat, you went to business school? Yeah, I went to college school business school. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna provide us a lot of business insight for this episode then? Hell no. Why not? <laughs> I wasn't that good at school. Oh, fun yeah. fact. I you wanna know to differ? What I learned at business school? Hmm. I learned that if you head over to our Patreon, you can get double drops of the office that's specifically done for you and your ilk because we know that you guys want more office and so we're going to give it to you ilk that's business yeah good yeah. business i minored in business and i will say you know what i hated financing fuck that stupid ass class that one sounds like it's really important for business I, it was all math yeah. it was all math and i'm like why do i care i should have cared more yeah go, and go math kills soul cells Oh, hey, Kevin. Nice of you to join us. My tire blew out on the way here, Michael. Uh -huh. I almost died. I am being honored as a no. special lecturer. You will be a guest speaker in my emerging enterprises class. Oh, no. If you bring your boss to class, it automatically bumps you up a full letter grade. Mm -hmm. Oh, my so God. I'd be stupid not to do it. Right? <laughs> I mean, got to do it. And I am like the cool teacher, like oh, no. Mr. Handel. Mr. Handel would hang out with us, and he actually hooked up with one of the students. No! <laughs> and then like 12 other kids came forward. It's in all the papers. <laughs> really ruined eighth grade for us. Oh my, <laughs> god. Oh my god. Oh god! Eighth grade. That just got worse and worse and worse. Oh man, this guy. I hope he doesn't try to become a Mr. Handel. <laughs> Why was that shortened? What do you it mean? It was short. Ooh, it was shorter. Was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was it? A lot of times at a school after a rousing speech, the crowd would throw its hats high into the air. You you understand nobody's graduating. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just saying if they did throw their hats, I've got a great line for that. May your hats fly as high as your dream. I that ain't bad. This is like the most he That's gotta be the that most standard for a week. <laughs> Okay, just so you know, it's just the students from my class in a little studio. I, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Ah, really look at that. Love you. Love you too. Oh no, we're already at love. Names with Roy. Back to the guys. Married. Moving on. I can't believe you're back together with Roy. Oh my mm. god, you're so in love now. Yeah. Oh, you should come to my art show. Yeah, <laughs> definitely I'll be there. Just there. say no. It brings back so many memories that I would have made. <laughs> <laughs> What do you say we got our frizz on before class? Uh, oh no. You guys hey guys, I wanna play frisbee! Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh my god, what was that? Oh god. <laughs> did you guys ever hacky sack? Were you guys hacky no. sackers? Yeah, I, get a little bit. I did a little, I did a little bit of frisbee. In high school there was a little I was a hacky sack circle. A little, little, I got down with some sack action. frisbee. Rat turd! So that's what it looks like. Now we know. This is me. Oh Wait, what are you doing? Solving a mystery, if that's quite all right with you. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> ah, okay, there is Okay, we have here is a bird. Fortunately, I have found it before. Oh! 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 That would be Chris. <laughs> that would be straight up Chris. Okay, this is it. Thunder Mifflin can't compete with the modern chains. Oh man, you're, go, you're about to go down a grade. This was a bad idea. Their customers are dying off. 
Like uh, very bad things. Oh, oh my god, so that's scary. Cute. They'd be bad. The bats they're are super cute. cute. Hell no. The bats are cute. They're like yeah. little sky dogs. Sure, a bat flying here. Let's see what you yeah, say. Let's see what, what you, you say. say. They're like little sky dogs. Uh huh. Oh, you saying that? Animal control will be here at six. 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 Okay, Jim, you are the number two in this office. You need to step up and show some leadership. The bat. I mean, I know I felt it bite me, but look, there's no more. I feel so so strangely powerful. <laughs> <laughs> I present the regional manager of Dunder Mifflin Scranton, Michael Scott. After talking all the shit about Scranton. I mean, I would laugh. I would laugh if that if someone was doing that. <laughs> I would be laughing too, bro. <laughs> Hello, everyone. But he's being I dead serious. Michael Scott. <laughs> <laughs> May I borrow someone's textbook, please? <clears throat> very, very interesting. No! You cannot learn. <laughs> Bro, that's a seven hundred dollar book. Replace these pages with life lessons. Stop! No. <laughs> you buy me that. No. You're gonna have. To I know these are expensive, but the lesson is priceless. <laughs> no. I'm whooping your ass. <laughs> you can probably still sell it back. It's your job, helper. Ow! The bread on your desk. I just picked it up. It's white hot. This garlic bread is cold. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Is Karen in on it? Hell yeah, she has to be. Crisis at a time. If a vampire bat was in the U.S., it would make sense for it to come to a Sylvania. <laughs> <laughs> you want to start a business? How do you start? First of all, you need a building. No. You don't. You need supplies. You need something to sell. Um, You'd think he'd be good at this part. A who's he what's he? I'll watch him a cop. The fun. A paid. <laughs> See you later back there. What is it now? Now and later. You will make a hundred grand. A one hundred grand. A one hundred grand. <laughs> <laughs> Make it satisfied. Ah. I'd love to be there, but my daughter's. That's clever. Tonight. You know, all the other parents will probably videotape it. So oh no, you should go. It's important to support local art. Go to mm -hmm. your daughter's and what they do is not art. Damn. <laughs> Let me slow down a little bit. Break this down. <laughs> the professor's the like, oh god. You have to buy playstations and beanie babies. Michael Who the fuck's in my meetings? There is more of a question and answer. Well, very good. First hand up. How have you adapted your business model to function in an increasingly paperless world? Real business is done on paper. Oh. Write that down. He might be on something. <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> <laughs> the glare off Angela's crucifix? It's blinding. <laughs> I don't have a lot of experience with vampires, but I have hunted werewolves. What? I shot one once, <laughs> but by the time I got to it, it had turned back into my neighbor's dog. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! What the fuck? Form an allegiance. Sure. <laughs> Do you have the tools to turn a wooden mop handle into a stake? Which size? I'll <laughs> <laughs> leave you for the convenience and savings of a nationwide chain. I absolutely guarantee you'll come back. Has anyone ever come back? We don't want them back. Here, <laughs> <laughs> by your own employee's calculation, you'll be obsolete in the next five to ten years. Wait, Ryan said that? <laughs> <laughs> you better not hurt that little bat. Animals can't feel pain. Damn right. <laughs> Living thing with feelings in a family. What? 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 You gotta get rid of that bat. I'll go fucking got Fucking Laszlo from what we do in the shadows. Bat? Oh, he's back in the ceiling. Just leave him alone. We could have a little ceiling bat. No, we got bad poop. But how can you compete against a company with the resources of a nationwide chain? David will always beat Goliath. Five Goliaths. You know what else is facing five Goliaths? America. Al Qaeda. Global warming. Okay. Sex predators. Okay. Drugs. Mercury poisoning. <laughs> So do we just give up? Oh, no. <laughs> Ryan never made a sale. <laughs> like just proves his point. And he started a fire. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody thinks he's a tease. What? <laughs> he doesn't know anything, and neither do you. Is he gonna get the letter grade bump? Suck on that! Oh no. 
<laughs> Damn. <laughs> Oh, those are good, Pam. I saw water coach. Those are really good. You have to accept that, like, you're not gonna have huge reception at first. If it wasn't personal, business is always personal. <laughs> 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 That's not the best. You heard me back your thanks. What? <laughs> what is he the fired fuck? Him? I guess. But he good. loves Ryan. Really want to come out? Can I marry Beth? <laughs> 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 you're cool to just wait here for animal control. I'm gonna go home and lie down. Watch some in here. <laughs> Bye, Dwight. <laughs> Good luck. You gonna accidentally kill him, bro? Like, like happy. Faith. Hey, babe. How are you? Good. I show up with my brother, and no one from work is here. That's pretty cool, huh? What? Uh, it is huh? Just... He's just chilling. Yeah. He's doing some pull ups. How many bites did she get? That's not fair. She, that, that's what we're gonna stop, yo. Oh my god, I'm killing you. Should, you should do right for that shit. Oh, I'm gonna kill the fuck out of you to I'll death. Kill I'm wife, bro. killing you to death. <laughs> Lasted like 25 oh, seconds. No. Do I have one? Maybe I'm a little tired. Your art was the prettiest art of all the art. Thank you. Roy's like just dumb. It's something. <laughs> He's trying, but it's 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 coming off. Meh. Of course, Meh. I was wrong to suggest that Dunder Mifflin might ever go out of business. You are moving to the annex where Kelly is. Good manager doesn't fire people; he hires people, and inspires people, and people will never go out of business. D okay. You're the one who said we needed more culture. This is culture to you. Real art takes. Hurry. Boy, you draw you draw something. Oh, those aren't Pam Strong points. Yeah, Bro! This is motel art. Bro! Oh. Who asked you to be a fucking snob on some watercolors, you bitch? <laughs> Aww. No. No! Don't do it. It's Leave it. No, you still, no. Sorry, I'm late. Hey! Oh, Michael. You did these? Freehand? Look at this one. Wow. How much? This is sweet. Um. You want to buy it? Yeah, we have to have it for the office. That is our building. I'm really proud of you. Fifty dollars. Aww. <clears throat> Thank you. Do you have something in your pocket? Oh, no. yes, please, with something no. in his pocket. No. Okay. Ah! <laughs> I'm chunky. Uh, huh. Oh. <laughs> 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 I was so worried. I was so scared. That was close. <laughs> and without paper, Aww. it That's could it. not have happened unless you had a camera. <laughs> and she's lucky. But even then, she's lucky oh she god. caught him in a mood, or you know, he was in a mood already. But. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Excited. I will. I will. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Right, if you don't want to be with Kelly, why are you still with Kelly? Their dynamic is even funnier because they're actually like really, really good friends off camera too. And the, they wrote a lot of these episodes. <laughs> it, well, that's hilarious. Um, man. That's hey, that was very sweet. Okay, that was very sweet. Even yeah, he if did a good thing. He was in a mood specifically because of what happened. He might not have done that otherwise, but <laughs> that's what Pam needed right then and there. Mm -hmm. Oscar and his uh, fucking boyfriend or. All these highbrow, sophisticated. Yeah, like you draw something, dog. Judgy as fuck. But uh, isn't what you go to an art place for? Not to yeah. shit on it in front of. But well, people like, go there to judge. They judge art. Yeah, he's not, yeah, why haven't we taken him to the yeah, art museum? Yeah, 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 why hasn't that happened yet? But like, you don't go. Like, if you don't like a piece of art, you just move on. You, you just, I, I don't know. I'm kind of. I, I shit on modern art. Look but not in fr like But they yeah. didn't see her. They didn't see yeah, her. Yeah, not in front of the artist. Look, <laughs> if you listen to someone who made their first album ever. You wouldn't judge it like you judge a Kanye album. But I mean, if you made a first album, you probably to make that first album, you probably just are an artist, right? Because you're just not gonna like no Joe Mo is gonna make an art album. Everybody's gotta make the first one. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying like judging Pam like she's fucking Van Gogh is an un that's unfair. 
Yeah. And like, mm-hmm. homie's just like, well, Van Gogh drew the hands of oh, Pez. Well, it's his first time around. I'm like, well, come on, that's a fucking lot. Well, bro. I wouldn't judge it. With, I wouldn't judge it with other artists, but for, for him to say, for him to say, like, it's like motel artists. I'm like, I don't think that was anything bad because, like, he's just judging the art, and he didn't even see Pam behind him at all. Yeah, but I mean, it I, was I, the I know, tone. It's his tone. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question. Is there anything Dunder Mifflin, in hindsight, could have actually done to survive against the companies they're going against? No, like, no. So. I mean, they are now. We're, even the Staples is out of business, bro. I Dude, bought a newspaper still, yesterday, a, a, and it was three dollars and seventy-five cents for a newspaper. There's still a Staples in this, here, here in town. Yeah. Like it's uh, still standing. Very, yeah, I was very surprised. Now it has reverted to the point There's where it's like people buying I'm, vinyls, I'm just, yes. like soon to be VHSs, where it's like, oh, it's just the feeling of the nostalgia. I'll pay ten bucks for a fucking newspaper now. Oh no, I, I bought it because I was in it. But like, I, I get that. But it's like, I mean, like what they like. I don't know. Like, could I, they convert to selling books or something? Like, I know I, that wholesale paper makes sense for them now, but they would have to completely change their business model. Like, I, the, they can, know they have to know. The higher done. ups have it's to know. Yeah. If Ryan knows. The whoever the CEO of fucking Dunder Mifflin, uh, Dunder Mifflin yeah, is, know. he knows. If He's they like, don't know, then they refuse to believe it. Yep, yeah. they're, they're trying to be like blockbuster. They're it, like, we will still survive. Yeah, yeah. Mm. If the uh, no late fees. <laughs> issue, remember when they tried no late fees? Like, mm, just keep blockbuster. the movies forever. <laughs> it's too late. Too late. <laughs> um, I mean, I could see. I mean, we're already in an age of like a lot of things being paperless. But if it, if things keep getting worse for the Earth, you know, I could see maybe. Well, servers it, are not that good for Earth, neither. Huh? And you can recycle paper. That, that's true. Almost that's infinitely. true. I was gonna see. I was gonna say maybe more things will go paperless, but yeah, things like art, like you know, you're always gonna need. To, although now they make stone paper now, we can make paper out of stone. Oh. And it's like really super smooth. It's like way more fun to write on. Nice. So and there's like Kindles that. and stuff too. Yeah. You know, read, as far as reading so, books. But as far as like business, I mean, some businesses just you know they're they're dinosaurs. I mean, Netflix was the king of streaming services, and I feel like they're struggling now because there's so much competition. Nikki always talking shit. You all, yeah. Netflix. They are <laughs> shitty, man. They're doing a lot of shit. They're, really they're still not, the though. best UI out of everyone. You know, you know what? I agree with Mickey. I mean, you know what Netflix that. is doing that I I think is amazing. You motherfuckers will all come in here saying that you watched a different documentary every day. Yeah. No one watched. Oh, they're killing this the documentary is, game. This yeah. is unheard of. All right? the Absolutely game. unheard when of. When I rewind on Netflix, I have full confidence that I'm going to be able to rewind and play it. When I rewind on <laughs> anything else, no, I'm no, quenched, okay, okay, no, I'm like, no, no, oh, no, 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 no,
they force this on us. It's, it's always hard for the for the independent or like the non franchise, the non I guess big big name thing to be able to support itself. But mm-hmm. I just want to say, Marquetta, your earrings are fucking dope. They, they, they really are. I got them at the at the local boutique. Hey! <laughs> Which will be closed in five years. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know. okay. this is a good one. It's good to see uh, Michael have to confront like the actual business thing and those people to like hold him to the fire and ask on those questions. It is known that it's going to put him in a bad mood. And it, even for him, he's middle management. He literally can't do shit about it. Like he's managing his branch, but like he has no control on what the business is going to do next. Mm-hmm. The best thing he can do is make sure his branch is making money so that they stay viable. But literally, it's a ticking fucking clock. So it's bad that he moved, Ryan. Like, like was that like a a selfish ego driven choice, or was he as he actually trying to teach Ryan something about like how you invest in people? I, I, mean, I feel like there was there something. was a something there. I think it was punishment because like he literally put him in the one place where he doesn't want to be at all. But that's with his girlfriend. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, then, uh, how, would, how would Mike Michael Scott know that he does not want to be his girlfriend? Everybody knows. Everybody knows. Does Michael mm-hmm. Scott know that? Yeah, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't think Michael yeah, Scott Yeah, I wouldn't knows. think Michael Scott would know. Yeah. Um, I think maybe that's a coincidence. I, th- I think he was actually trying to teach, he was definitely did it out of spite. Yeah. But there there might be something there about like investing in people. Because yeah. that, that, sounds, that sounds right. I think it's like a bad yeah. thing. A good sentiment to have, but like he can't I, actually do anything with it. I also don't think that Michael Scott has, even though he's branch manager, I don't think he has an influence on like major decisions for the company as a whole. Yeah, that's what that, I'm saying. No. that have HQ yeah. like in New York. No, I wouldn't say so. Yeah. So I mean, it's up to those people to pivot and like you know start maybe you know like you said selling Kindles or mm-hmm. I don't know something adapt. Okay. Yeah, because he takes his orders from Pam. Or not Pam. And he like took it so personally. Like, yeah. Jan, <laughs> you yeah. can't even change this. So make like paper for kids, where like they draw and it becomes like a tattoo or something, and you put I don't know, make innovate your paper in a way to a different or market. Ink. You start yeah. selling paper to Hallmark. Yeah, uh, there you go. Or to like, com- comic books, <laughs> comic book places. There you go. Well, why don't you guys tell us what you like to do with your paper other than roll it and burn it, and we'll talk with you at the next one. Weed. Bye. Bye. I was thinking of homemade cigarettes. What's up, guys? Thank you for joining us for another episode of The Office. Shout out to our super patrons, Jacob D. Van Horn, Raga Gopal Krishna, Keyboard Junkie, and Joe Max. And let us know where your cringe meter is in the comments down below.